Hey Josh, uh, so here's a real quick lesson for the last part of um, fences. So um, if we, if you take it from um, uh, that kind of bridge, the yeah yeah, well you're just a mess. Um, basically, what, what, I've, what I was doing here with the uh, my pickup selector is I've got um, my uh, neck pickup, which is when it's set to the top turned down quite low. So I've got the distortion setting on my amp. Uh, so this is how you can sort of practice at home to get the two sort of sounds that you need. You need the clean sound and um, the dirty one for the chorus. Um, yeah, so I've got the volume on my um, neck pickup rolled down to about two, uh, which really cleans up the signal, uh, which means if you're playing with a distorted channel, um, you can basically clean up your sound um, without having to use any effects. Um, and then the heavy bits, I switch down to both pickups. I could probably use just the... I'm using both pickups because it's a little heavier than just the bottom. So basically, I've got my uh, bridge pickup turned all the way up to 10. So on the distorted channel, that makes it quite quite dirty. And uh, so I've got that. If it's set in the middle, which you can do with your guitar as well, um, you've got a combination of the bridge and neck pickup. So you've got the dirty from this one and the sort of fatness from this one, resulting in that sort of sound. Uh, so that's what you, you see them sort of flicking between my sounds here. Um, so, so that, uh, that course, that, that chord progression, um, in the breakdown, in like, in the verse, uh, sorry, in the, uh, in the bridge, uh, it's kind of going, it's going from that, your, um, F minor, you will, you just a do you want this big token? can't quite remember the rhythm off the top of my head. It works, it makes sense if you just play along with the track. Um, so, the first time I did it, you can actually do both of these clean if you like. But it's a, it's a bit of a heavy part of the song, so I did the first one with the dirty. And the second time I went clean, because I want, because the, if you listen to the track, the acoustic guitar comes in. into the solo. So what I'm actually doing that second time is the same sort of strumming pattern that we're using in the verse, but I'm actually playing the chords and then muting. So I'm not actually, I don't know if you can see from there, but I'm not actually pressing down on the string. the solo, uh, which is slightly different to what I wrote down for you because I've spent a bit more time with it now. Um, it's actually just a chromatic descending riff. So I'm just using power chords going from uh, your 8th fret, and keep in mind we're uh, tuned half step down, so we moved everything up a fret. So you can just go straight. Going from 8, 7, 6, 5. Uh, actually, sorry, to 4 as well. Um, we can kind of do that sort of swing in between each of the transitions. Uh, I'm kind of doing like a an extra down up in between. If I try and slow, if I think about it too much, I mess it up. I 
it's just a, it's just an extra the upswing. So rather than just doing all down strokes, I just chuck an extra up swing at the end, which is kind of muted. extra swing. Uh, so you can do that if you like or you can just keep it straight. Um, so we've got four on each of the eight, seven, six and five and then six on the four. So six. Then you kind of got like one more. I'm going from jumping up from the four to the seven. Uh, which is what happens in, uh, at the end of each of the two uh, the two progressions. So it's down and up on the uh, seventh fret, and it starts again like that. So what this is this is all replacing the. Um, uh, so on the back page of the sheet I gave you where it says um, C, but I thought it was going back and forth between uh, C and B flat. Um, but it's actually, yeah, just... So where it says C, C B flat, C, B flat, uh, G sharp, B in bracket C, times 2. So it's at the top of the... Just on the power chords, top of the second page. Um, replace it with this. <laughs> So this is where the end of the solo, so you're actually just going to the chorus chords. Uh, C minor, uh, G sharp major, F minor, the G is actually major. Uh, so the last time, um, when the vocal comes back in. So you're doing that. And then going straight to your C minor. You're just a mess. Uh, so it's like kind of like a pre-chorus there, uh, which is the link. Yeah, and then um, you're into the chorus is normal, which ends with. Uh, Oh yeah, so um Oh that's so so oh. So that's the outro, so we're going back and forth with that. So that sort of hits pattern on um to do this three times I think it is. So actually, sorry, actually twice on the third time. 
on B flat and stop on B. And then just uh, so the sort of intro to finish song. That's it. Uh, cool. So yeah, um, basically, just um, learn, uh, just replace the um, the solo chords with uh, that descending progression, the chromatic one. And uh, other than that, just yeah, really get familiar with the song and the transitions that uh, that happen throughout that. Because uh, it's not really difficult. You just got to know how the song goes. Hope that helps, buddy. See you later.